Welcome to Polycom Conference Recorder Playback Service. All right, everyone. So let's get started. Um, first off, I just wanted to wish everyone a very happy Earth Day from New York City. As you all know by now, my name is Grace, and we have the pleasure of having our fifth session in the conference recording has started. Global Nomads Group and Architecture for Humanity video conference series. So today we're going to be talking about structure, not in the traditional way that you, you think about it, but we're actually going to study um, the history of traditional to contemporary buildings in a place very, very far from where we are, um, whether you're in the States, you're in Canada, or another part of the world, which I will introduce to you in a bit. Um, before we begin, I would love for you all to introduce yourselves, the name of your school, where you're located, and in honor of Earth Day, what your school is doing um, to promote this very special holiday. So why don't we start with Westmount Charter? Good morning. I was asleep though. Hello. Yes, Peter. Uh, Mr. Zubu. We're coming okay uh, across there. Fantastic. Okay. Okay. Go ahead, Sarah. Tell us. Remember to state your name before you speak, please. Hi, my name is Hassan from Western Charter School, as you know. Uh, what have we What have we haven't told you yet? We're in Calgary, Alberta, as you've all heard before. It's gonna snow tomorrow. It's gonna snow tomorrow. Yeah, it's gonna snow 10 centimeters. I don't know how much that is in the Imperial system. So, yeah, we're glad to be here. Well, that's bogus snowing in springtime. How are you guys celebrating Earth Day up in uh, Calgary, Alberta today? Well, we wear the traditional green color, as, <laughs> as most schools do. Also, one of the classes in our school decided to show how much we consume by piling a whole bunch of garbage on our field. <laughs> Very nice. And nice green shirt, by the way, Hanson. All right, next up we have... Thank you. <laughs> next up we have South Plantation. You're up. Grace, this is Linda at the bridge. I think South Plantation is in the process of pulling their class together, so you may want to go ahead and continue. Thank you. We're good now. We're okay. Oh, we're okay. Good? All right. Yeah. yeah. Hi, um, my name is Cortland Messam, and this is South Plantation High School. Um, our school is in Plantation, South Florida. Um, as you said, it's going to snow there. It's actually getting colder down here. It's almost um, about 60 degrees. And um, how we're celebrating Earth Day, well, since we're in an environmental magnet, like every day is Earth Day, so, you know, we're living our lives out as if it was a regular day. So, thank you. Great, thank you. So, quick math, 60 degrees Fahrenheit, what is that in Celsius? Someone from South Plantation. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, yeah. I forget 30? Like 18? Three. No. <laughs> All right, so before I introduce you to our guest speaker, um, he is located in Accra, Ghana, and he's going to take us through a very special journey today as we think about um, the world of architecture and design, and as we think about structure. Typically, when we think of a building, we see the outermost layer. So today we're going to dig a little bit deeper and find out what's beneath the surface. So without further ado, I'm going to show you a quick five-minute video and then I'm going to introduce you to our wonderful guest speaker. Short. 
to introduce our guest speaker for today's session, Joe Asai Addo. He was born in Ghana, studied architecture in London, worked all around the world in Finland, throughout the UK and the US. 